Hey everyone, welcome to the Crystal Rose Love channel. Today I want to show you three protective hairstyles that I really love. The great thing about these hairstyles is that they require very little combing, brushing, or maintenance overall, which is great. So here we go. To prepare my hair for my protective styles, I like to put um, satin rollers in my hair the night before and cover my hair with a satin scarf. And you know, the satin roller is pretty much a foam roller with satin uh, over the foam to protect your hair from um, friction and so forth. So here you see me in the morning, um, now after my hair has been set overnight. And I just put about six rollers in my hair, six or seven rollers, because um, I don't really need that many rollers to achieve the big, thick curls that I'm looking for. And the reason why I want the curls in my hair is because the buns, as well as the pony style that I'm about to do, actually look better when my hair is uh, rolled up overnight. And I'm going to uh, put some of my organic coconut oil in those curls. And I'm just, uh, you know, gently twisting the hair in the method that I always use to moisturize my hair. And if you haven't checked that out, I'll link the video here. Since I have coconut oil on my hands now, I am just giving myself a little scalp massage. It's really relaxing and great for the scalp. Here you see me loosening up those curls a little bit more. So now I take a comb and I just comb gently through the top portion of my hair. I don't run the comb through the curls because my hair is super thick and those curls are super thick. My hair isn't flat ironed here. It's simply uh, blow dried and sometimes I'll do this when my hair is air dried so my hair is then super super thick so I'm just combing the top portion for a smooth appearance. Here you see me putting in organic root stimulators, olive oil, moisturizing lotion and again just to get a smooth appearance on the top portion of my hair. I'm not putting that lotion in the rest of the curls just the top portion to smooth it down. Here you see me using Organic Root Simulator's Olive Oil Edge Control to smooth down my edges and I'm following up with a boar bristle brush to give those edges some further definition. Alright, so my everyday bun. I'm using an elastic band, an, an elastic hair band, and I'm taking my hair pretty much into like a pony style embrace, and I am looping the hair through the elastic band gently and twirling it as I loop it upwards, allowing the curls, the end of the curls to pop out on top. And I'm just now making the bun expand a little bit more to give it more of a thick look. And this is where having the curls really comes into play because now the thickness is just automatic. I don't need anything to enhance the thickness of the bun. It is automatic because not only is my hair thick, but the curls give an even more thickness. So if you don't really have thick hair, putting your hair in curlers the night before really helps with creating a thick bun very easily. I'm putting some bobby pins in my hair just to smooth it down and keep stray hairs in place. So here I'm going to do a different look. It's still a protective style. I'm going to do a banana clip uh, style. I love banana clips because they are a simple clip that you just put up through your hair, you snap it in place and your hair can just flow out from the clip. So I'm getting my hair loose and I am pretty much putting the clip, I put the clip behind my head um, right along the scalp going upwards and allowing my hair to flow through, the curls to flow through the back of the clip. And then I snap it up top and it looks like a ponytail actually with the curls just flowing out from behind it. I'm putting some bobby pins in place to keep those stray hairs in place and smoothing it down with a boar bristle brush again.
I'm getting ready for my high bun look, so I'm going to take my hair down from the banana clip style. I really like the high bun look because it's really in style right now, so having a protective style that is really um, fashionable is always a good thing. Again, I'm using my fingers to do a bulk of the detangling so I don't need to use a comb through my curls or anything like that. I am using a comb and a brush to smooth back the bang. I am not used to not wearing a bang. I have a huge forehead and um, like I can fit how many fingers on my forehead? Yeah, so this is a new thing for me, but I'm getting used to it. Here I'm just doing some prep work for the high bun and uh, just running my fingers through the curls gently. Here you see me using a soft, wide elastic headband. I stress wide because some people actually have issues with those thin elastic headbands because the tightness and the thinness of those headbands actually cut into their edges and actually cause them to break and snap off. So opt for a wide one if you're looking for a headband that won't cause uh, issues with your hairline overall. Now I'm going to do exactly what I did in the first bun look, which is to gather my hair into a ponytail. I loop that elastic band around my hair, around the ponytail once, and then with the second loop, I gather up those curls and I twist it upwards, allowing the curls at the top to come out just a little bit. Here, because my hair is in a high bun, the top portion is going to stick out a little bit more than when it was a low bun, so I'm going to after gathering up the hair in terms of making it look neat, I'm going to use a bobby pin to get that top portion a little bit uh, more under control and more pinned down. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Let me know which hairstyle that you like the most in the comments below. See ya.